everybody, I know it's been a while since I uploaded the video last time, but this time I'm going to be very on time. So the last video that I uploaded is like two months back and the last video regarding this topic I uploaded like three months back in October. And today this is the last part and I'm going to show you the machine completely working producing film. So now everything is on place. I experimented a lot uh, in between those months, tried new things, I put new type of like, uh, I increased the size of the barrel, now it's like 400 millimeter before it was like 200 millimeter. And uh, so the auger, auger before like was like total length of the, the auger was 240 mm, now it's like 460 mm, which is quite longer. And most of the project that you see on instructable.com and many of these websites are like using at least 400 mm long barrel and the auger too in order to produce a filament. And that I think I was doing wrong because if you watch the last video, especially this thing, where the smoke coming out of out of like the hole or the inlet from where the pellets get in uh, because of that it was because the size of the barrel is shorter because of that the hole can get very hard and as soon as the pellets enter the barrel it start melting so this smoke also produced it also clogged the intake of that barrel that was the problem but now i fixed it and here's and the next video i'm going to show you every single thing so without wasting any time let's begin this is the whole machine as you can see in front of you and we're gonna come on this thing later because it is still unfinished and this is what the most important thing M most of you thought this is the most important thing the heating element well this is i'll say it's the second most important thing first one is this thing because it contains all the things i would say it it is really like it's pushing pellets towards the nozzle over there so this thing is important i'm gonna talk to you about this later but let's come to this so you can now you can see this this is how uh, the me the this is like the heater is like 100 millimeter and the bat is like 420 millimeter long and for the reference this one was the old one that i'm holding in my hand uh, this one is like 200 millimeter you can see its length is uh, so you can see the newer one is almost twice the size of the old one and which is a good thing so i'm keeping this so now i'm using the longer one and this time this i hope this wasn't gonna be work properly because i'm still not tested i tried a lot of things and i'm gonna do every single thing in front of video because i want whole things to be in highly in detail so that everybody could understand you go on instructable they tell you do that do this but uh, i'm making this on a tight budget i can increase the budget but still i want like this to be super cheap so that everybody can make uh, produce one of their own filament and enjoy all what I can say else well I would, I'm, not, I'm not gonna say this the filament that we're gonna produce from this machine will be as high quality as industrial one that we buy from Amazon or reality of Prusa filament but I'm definitely gonna say you can print parts like this the functional print which do not require high detail but it just like uh, let me just let me show you like this thing which is holding this speed control or this cover for this relay or you can say this pipe holder over here or you can say this motor holder or gear smith so next let's let's come to the second uh this thing rexc 100 the heating thing we're going to control through this machine then here comes the arduino you know, this we're going to use to control this stepper motor which gonna pull out the filament from here and now this thing is like 12 volt 10 amp power supply that we're gonna use to run this motor and other accessories in this project so this is the whole machine as you can see and we're gonna finish this in today's video well now let's come to the motor part so we're gonna use the gears here we're gonna put one more gear i have this and i'm gonna show you in few seconds but before i explain this to you this is the most important thing because you need proper amount of torque proper amount of push in order to produce a good quality filament so because of that this thing is very important and we're going to create a gear system which can create appropriate torque at appropriate rpm so we're going to do that
so now you can see this gear box is finally done so this one is like this gear has the driver gear has like 20 teeth and then the next one has 100 then the 20 and then again 100 if you want you can put more gear but this much is enough and this one is way more bigger than the older one or in comparison let's say the holder thing that you are seeing right now if we compare with this look how small it is it, this one is way way bigger and it's working pretty fine I tested it so now it's time to deploy this thing on this and see how it's gonna be I, I think it's gonna be powerful if it isn't then I'm gonna put one more gear because there is a lot more space to, to put like one or two gears maybe so let's check it out so finally guys the machine is done let me give you a wide angle view of it so now you can see it's completely done everything are in place as you can see this is a, a gear system it is connected with this coupling through the, and there is a holder and then there is an inlet and a silo through which the filament will get in and then there is a heater and here it is REXC100 relay and a power supply an Arduino to control the servo motor when we put a extruder in order to uh, take out the filament through a nozzle. Uh, so this is it. So finally it's done. So it's time to test it. I'm going to test it outside because I don't want smoke into my room. And let's see if it's going to work. That's good. If it doesn't, that will be just like in another update regarding this machine because it's like it's taking a lot more effort than I, I thought it would be. So it's time to test this machine now. So as you can see the machine is started working and I tried a lot more time than getting this fine result so now it's working so if you like this video make sure to hit the like button and I will keep updating about regarding this machine so subscribe and press the bell icon thanks for watching guys love you all goodbye